name is Harper Jones with Bow Tiger, and you're watching Saturdays with Harper. And I want to talk to you guys today about moving your child from crib to toddler bed. Now, this is a huge milestone in your child's life, so I'm also at the end of this video just going to mention a way that you can commemorate the experience with your child, family, and friends, and just really make it a time to remember in your child's life. Okay, so first I want to talk about the age that we would typically move child from crib to toddler bed. Now, there is a wide span in this age, but there are other factors that go into deciding on when your child is ready, so that's why. Uh, the recommended age is anywhere between one and a half and three and a half years old. Now, as, as little as one and a half, due to the fact that a lot of kids are super, super active, and by active, I mean they climb all over everything, and if they're climbing all over everything, they're likely climbing out of a lot of things as well, and one of those things would definitely be their crib. If you have noticed that your baby is trying to climb out and over the crib, or if you've had the experience of your child doing this a few times, this is a time to consider moving them to a toddler bed. Now, when they move to a toddler bed, they may have the issue of not understanding the imaginary boundaries, basically, that a bed has, and they may start rolling out of it, and not they may not be able to keep themselves in it. There is a solution for that. You can definitely get the guardrails that go onto the toddler beds. Toddler beds are already super low to the ground, so it doesn't pose a risk if they are to fall out of it, besides the fact that it wakes them up at night. So you may want to try the guardrails to make it a little bit easier on your child. Now, I do want to mention that you never, ever, ever want to push moving from a crib to a toddler bed on your child. If you have kind of pushed your child to do this at, a, at the young age, you may notice things like your child's no longer sleeping soundly at night, your child has difficulty staying asleep at night, um, or going to sleep at night, excuse me, just different things like that. Uh, and if these start to occur after you've had a baby that did very well all night long, it's likely telling you that you need to revert back to the crib for a little bit, and it's just kind of like potty training. If you try the potty training out and it's not working out, go back to the diapers for a bit and try it again in a couple of months. There is no shame in that whatsoever. The best thing that you can do is take these milestones when your child is ready, not when you're ready. Okay, so another thing that we can do to make it easier on our child when they move from crib to toddler bed is place that toddler bed in the same position, the same spot of the room that the crib was in because your child's been used to sleeping in the same area his or her entire life. So let's make it a little bit easier by putting that bed in the same spot so they just feel like they're in the same area of the room that they always have been when they fell asleep. Okay, so I did want to mention one way to commemorate the experience, and this is by having a toddler bed party. And what you do is just invite your family or friends, whomever you'd like to, maybe some of your child's friends, and have a party where you actually unveil the bed to family and friends. Uh, I actually Actually did let my daughter help pick out her bed which made it just sort of even more of a special moment between her and I and for her as she felt very very proud of her bed and the unveiling so everybody could see it you could see the sense of pride that she had about the milestone that she was taking and being able to sleep in her own bed and just having the big girl bed in her room so definitely try it out when your child is ready don't worry if at one and a half they're not you've got plenty of time keep that baby a baby a little bit longer if you want to. And of course, I did want to mention, if you're watching this video on Facebook or YouTube, please be sure to check out our blog on BowTiger.com. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Mm -hmm.